my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and today we're going to do a little bit more work on the Franken Mac. So, anyway, so here she is right here. So, last we left off, uh, we did the uh, button here on the side here and uh, it's been uh, permanently attached now so uh, it's not going to pop off and uh, like I said it could be removed uh, I use a different type of glue on it we could pop it off if we need to but like I said uh, it's on there you know it's not going to come off very easily so now what we're going to do is we're going to start modifying this IO port on the back of this thing and uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to see if you can see this in the camera here we're going to be cutting this out i've got it kind of lined out here um, and i've been thinking about this for several weeks now how i want to do this um, so basically what's going to happen is the mac mini is going to be here uh, you know this plate will be gone the Mac Mini will be up pretty flush to this here you get this little step here and then uh, what we're going to do because the HDMI cable for the monitor and the USB cable for the super drive uh, we're going to actually have it come out the back here so I'm going to blow this whole thing out here so that way it comes out I toyed with the idea of just having them come out here and I just it just I just was trying to think in my mind so basically what I'm gonna do is uh, we'll cut this out here then when the boards in there the cables will come back and go like this and then what I'm going to do is we will make a real thin skin on this thing and to make it look pretty and then I'm going to make uh, something that will be held on with magnets so when it's all plugged in and everything you can just put it on there and it hides the cables there'll be a bump out on it obviously uh, but uh, it'll, it'll look a lot cleaner looking if I do it that way so anyway I mean it'd be nice on the Mac mini if there was some internal HDMI uh, uh, spots in there you know rather than being all external if there was like some on the board but unfortunately uh, that would take a lot of work to, to to modify that and I just don't want to get into that uh, it would be great it would be you know it'd look really clean but um, we're gonna go the, the the easier route so anyway that's what we're gonna do we're gonna cut this out and uh, it should be very interesting we're gonna use a Dremel tool on it uh, I'll cut it we're gonna speed it up it's gonna be a lot of work working on that and uh, but I think it'd be end result should look pretty good okay so uh, be back in a few here. Okay guys, I'm just going to reach up here and just see where we're at here at this uh, mark here. Uh, let's see. i got to see how close I am to the bottom of this here. Oh, there's that. So yeah, I can definitely go down a little bit lower. I just want to make sure I didn't want to get into the deck of it there. So.
Okay guys, so we have definitely this this um, a, this is ABS plastic and the when you dremel it, when you run anything at high speed, you're list, list, literally you're melting the plastic, burning it. So you kind of got to do it in little steps. When it cools, you can usually just pick that off. It'll pick right off of there. But anyway, so I'm going to take, I got a little saw, and we're going to go in there and kind of clean these corners up here so that way I can pull that plate out, and then we'll have to uh, clean all this uh, up here on this here. And uh, so, yeah. So we're going to continue on it here. And uh, be back in a moment. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I got this back panel really just roughed out, but you can see this is the uh, Mac Mini there. And you're saying, oh my God, this thing looks terrible. It does right now, but it'll look nice when it's all done. I'm going to clean all this edge up here, square that up. Uh, I'm not worried about this. I'm going to square it up. And then I'm also going to get rid of this, just a little bit more of this lip. Okay, I'm going to even that up. And then what's going to happen is uh, there's going to be another plate that goes over this. Okay, and it's going to cover all this up here. It's going to be held on with magnets. And what will happen, this Mac Mini will also be fixed in here so it won't move around. And so the only th port that's not going to be available, obviously, is the power port and the button. That's all going to be concealed. This plate will go over it. And like I said, the cables are going to come out from underneath there and plug into that. And uh, I have to get a, I've been trying to find, I can get a real thin H HDMI cable um, that it's very bendable. Um, I can get it in either a flat version or a round version. The round version's got a very, very thin cord on it. But ideal, I'd like to find something that's actually got an offset HDMI plug, but I haven't seen one yet. Um, but anyway, that would it'd make it look a little cleaner. So, uh, but like I said, we're going to have this other plate that will go on top of it that will hide everything. So it'll look pretty good. And uh, yeah. So we're getting there very slowly, guys. Um, like I said, just uh, taking my time. I think about how I want to do things, and so yeah. And uh, but at least that way we'll have access to all the ports on there. That'll be good. And um, yeah. So uh, we're gonna clean this up just a little bit here, and we'll continue. Alright guys, well, it's looking a, looking a little cleaner there. I, I got a lot more work to do on it there, but uh, it's definitely looking a lot cleaner. Then what we'll do then is I'm going to um, then permanently put the Mac Mini in there and get it all mounted up in there. And then like I said, we're going to put some magnets in here and uh, that way we're going to have another plate that will go over that. It'll, it'll like I said, it. It'll look good once it's done. Uh, right now it doesn't, but it, it'll look good. Like I said, I'm going to clean that up a little bit. I'm not worried about that hole because, like I said, I, I didn't make this wide enough purposely anyway because I wanted to adjust that a little bit, but actually I'm kind of liking where it is, so I'm just going to, like I said, when I put that other little tr uh, trim piece over that, then that'll hide all that, clean it up, and then, um, like I said, then we're going to make the other little bump out for it, and then will be held on by magnets and it'll look much better. So yeah, we're getting there guys. So um like I said it doesn't look much like much now. It's kind of dusty with all the plastic in there. Uh, but we'll get it all cleaned up and and you know, like I said you can see it uh it's it's shaping up there and uh get a good look on the inside of it there. And like I said the top 
screws is what will hold it together because this is not going to be that heavy anyway it's not going to be because it doesn't have a crt in it so it's going to be fairly light and it'll hold it just fine this fits tight enough the way it is anyway so i'm not worried about making these bottom screws functional so anyway guys yeah um we are making more progress um so like i said uh we're gonna get the mac mini mounted in there uh that's my next thing and then um I've also on this, um, let me uh, hold just a second here. This um, IR cable here, it's got the, the light on it here. All right, we gotta, we gotta lengthen that. And uh, that actually is gonna work pretty good because um, I'll show you just one moment here. Cause um, I'm gonna show you, so this is, where the activity light would be on the front of it where you see the hard drive is on so but this like i said this has an ir sensor on it so when we mount this thing in here the way it's going to work out is that will go that will go like that there's already a little slot in there so guess what that's going to allow that sensor to work good and uh we're just going to probably uh i will probably use like double stick tape on that to hold it in there that'll be just fine but it'll look real good when it's in there and like i said we're gonna uh probably triple the length of the cord that way that just gives us plenty of room to to maneuver and like i said we're gonna get a, a real small um hdmi cable uh, about a foot and a half is all i need one foot would be really pushing it but a foot and a half give me a little room to to play with here so yeah but uh yeah it's it's getting there guys and like i said uh I'm still looking for a 9-inch monitor, but I have not been able to find this because I know they used to make these in a 9-inch. And uh, But uh, if I find one, like I said, I think I'd probably get a 9-inch in here. Uh, it's going to be pushing it, but uh, you know, I'll have to really strip the case down on it. So anyway, all right, guys. So yeah. And so anyway, guys, I'll just kind of give you just a quick look here. So again, you know, it's, it's, it'll look... When it's, when it's all done, it'll look nice and clean here, and that's kind of what it's looking like now with the, uh, this is not the exact spot where the Mac Mini is going to be, um, but it gives you an idea. And uh, like I said, it's going to look pretty good when it's done. So anyway, guys, so, okay, so this is May 31st, Sunday of the last day of May. And uh, anyway, we're going to continue with this. Um, I have the decals for this. Uh, I haven't made them yet. Um, I'm going to show you how to how to do that too. Make the decals, and uh, that's going to be fun too. And then we'll get them on the side there too. It's going to look pretty cool. And uh, yeah, guys. So yeah, it's it's going to look like something here when it's done. So be be a uh, be fun little project here when we're all done. We got lots and lots of issues to work out on it, but we're we'll, we're getting there slowly. Okay. All right, guys. So. Have a great weekend. This is Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.